What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right guys, back to Mars we go. And we're going to be on Sol 2365. And you're going to see this is kind of crazy how they can dress up something to make it look like it's an actual butte, a mountain, or any of that sort. You guys be the judges always. I want to show you this. This is pretty cool. Okay, so we're right here at Jet Propulsion Laboratory or NASA, JPL. And uh, the photo we're looking at today is here. And you can see it right here, Sol 2365, Roar Images. Click on the full resolution. This is what I'm talking about. Now, check this out. This is pretty cool because if if I was to take some kind of, let's say, a rectangular structure or box, doesn't matter what it is, and if I was to put a slope on each side of it and then maybe smooth out the top, I can almost make it look like a butte or some kind of hill or mountain, right? And I think this one's no different. Again, you guys be the judge. Now, I'm going to just zoom into this without doing anything, so we're just simply on the page. And then I'm going to bring it into Photoshop and show you guys because this kind of breaks up and I can't, you know, uh, the resolution just drops out of it. But right here on the upper left hand side, and I'm just going to zoom in. Right here on the upper left hand side, I can see what looks like right here. It looks like this piece has got a rounded corner to it. You see that right there? Right here kind of almost goes to a point. I'm thinking to myself, okay, but what is that? Because what I can see is these lines right here. There's almost like a cube right here. There's a straight line going down. Goes around like this here. But again, we've got this rounded corner. And it has this, it looks like this, like part of this hill in the background, if that makes sense. And then you've got this other piece here. So my question was, when I first started to uh, enhance this was, is this whited area here part of this darker area? Well, after I enhanced it, you'll see what I mean things weren't what I thought they were, right? Um, the thing that caught my attention most was right here in the middle. Well, it's kind of in the middle. It's not really in the middle. See how it goes off to the side there. But what looks like these rocks, and what I find amusing about this is they almost look perfect. See this? Like bookends, one on each side, and they're almost identical, you know, uh, facing opposite from each other. See that? This one being a little bit longer, and what looks like this... Looks like they kind of airbrushed over this one here. Now, you can find this picture again uh, up close and everything. And it looks like layered rock. The problem is it has that weird grid all over it, which is crazy, right? It almost, to me, it almost seems like they're like trying to hide details. And by putting this grid over it, it kind of stops you from doing that. So, totally different from the way this looks. And it makes you wonder, why? And people say, well, you're looking at a low res, so therefore... No, it, it, the photo should look the same regardless. Now, you can have a, lo a low res photo, right? But to me... It shouldn't change that dramatically. I mean, that's that's all there is to it. And a lot of you guys that are into photography, whether you're a professional or non, doesn't matter. You could see things that are totally different in these photos. I get the idea of resolutions, but my God, when a photo is like totally different in the background, makes no sense at all. All right, so let's get into this more and more. This is the object we're talking about. And if we slide to the side here, there's something over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I just barely see it. There's something standing up right here right here something right here you can see just a little bit of a shadow so something standing up right here you can see what looks like line another line one two three lines it's hard to see unless you're looking at something that's high definition right um and you're going to see a little bit more things that uh i couldn't bring out but you can see that they're there there's like almost like this weird silhouette right all right so let's jump out of that because I want to blow this photo up for you guys so we can really zoom in and not have the photo, you know, really break apart. All right. Here we go right here. This is the original, as you can see. And you can see on the lower left corner, it's still showing. It's like 12.5%. And I'm going to go ahead and enlarge it. I got this light in my way. That's why I got to look around it. And as you can see on the lower left, it's still 125 And look at the size of it, right? So now we can zoom into this. Again, this is what caught my attention. But this even more so. Now you can see right here what I'm talking about. Right here, you've got this corner going over to here. Nice smooth corner. See that? Of course, I'm not even making it as smooth as that, as that is. Look at this. Right here, absolutely smooth and goes down. This goes all the way up. Now I'm not going to do a super straight line on this. I'm just going to just go over this real quick because I want to get to the front part of this. Well, you can see like there's a line right here. See that? Right here, it's darker. Goes up, goes a little over like this. Comes back down nice and smooth and comes back down. Now, if that was some kind of structure or vessel of some sort, I can easily just go like this. Just put something down right here, down right here, and then kind of just make it really, you know, really make it low res. And then just make it look so it's this smooth rock or hillside. 
on the back here. Now, when we back way out, doesn't it kind of look like some kind of hill way in the background? All right, so let's enhance this a little bit. Let's find out. Let's brighten it up a, a little bit to begin with and have a better look. Now, you guys see what I'm saying now? I mean, you got this weird... I'm just going to go back to this darker one for a second. And again, we got it going down like this. Now, is the object that shape? That's a good possibility too, right? Anyway, so as I try to enhance this thing, put a little blur into it. So this way we can get up close to it. You'll see what I mean right here. See, it's a little bit slightly more grainier. It's a little blurrier, but at least it doesn't break up as much. Now, let's back out a little bit. Now, I'm going to go ahead and enhance it. And let's see what happens to these areas here. They disappeared. Practically disappeared. See right here? See that right there? This going down like this. And you get this other object like this. Now, this object may, in fact, do that. Go to a point in the, in the very front here, right? But look at the details that popped out of this. Now, what I want you guys to see is pay attention to this part. Look at this little circle with this, this docking circle right here, right? And it's got this line going around it. See that? Right there. You can see that going around it. So I'm looking at this object and I'm going, okay, what does that? And it has these weird details. And you can see what looks like these weird small rectangles or something. And it just happens to be almost evenly spaced apart. You see that? Okay. What is that? Check that out. I'm going to circle these again. But here's the thing. Look at these weird shapes in here. These white things coming down. This round circular thing like I said earlier. See if we can do it a little bit more circular. But it has this, this circle in the middle. See that? And it has, again, these details here. But what I thought was pretty cool is, like I said, the way this thing comes down, goes like this here, has these two squares that just happen to be there like that. See that? Has this area like this here. Now, is it possible it's a structure, not some kind of vessel? Could very well be. Man, you should not see these weird things like this here and there. See the way that does that? Now, let's have a look at this other area. I think you find you guys think well, this is pretty cool. Now, this right here, this is kind of cool. Because when you look at this raw photo, and look at this area right here. I'm just going to go ahead and brighten it up. Put a little blur. Check this stuff out the way it does this right here. Okay? See that? See the way that's doing that now? Going like this. Going like this. Look at the shape of these things. Kind of coming down, going like this. And I'm going to do a comparison. I'm going to click back and forth here in a minute and show you each of these objects. There's something right here, again, that has this weird, it looks like a circle with a darker area here. Now, it's not an actual dark area, but you can see like it's circled. Whatever this thing is, it kind of comes down like this here. And, of course, it looks like they kind of just, kind of just try to airbrush this in, but it looks to me like it does this. Now, to me, I believe this goes all the way to the back, to be truthful with you guys, but there's another space here. And this is all we're seeing, but this white object is right there. And you can still see this in a raw photo. All right, let's bounce over here real quick. This is where I was saying you can see these weird objects. I'm just going to go right to the slight blur right here. Now, I brought it out a little bit better like this here, but let me show you what it really comes out to look like. Right? This is what this thing looks like when all the lines are put in. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. I want you guys to concentrate on this line here. You're going to see it does this here. Goes down, comes back up, goes across. Looks like it does this here. But there's something round right here. You've got these lines. And you've also got these other lines coming down. One going up, another one like this here. Something round right here. And you have what looks like this object standing up here and this one right here. Now, see what I'm talking about? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce back and forth from this here. And I want you to concentrate on any of the lines you see in here or this piece right here. This one right here. Or this one. And see what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, I'm just going to go back and forth. Concentrate on any of the lines you see in there. All I did was bring them out more. It gives it more depth. And you can see the lines much better. 
again if you're looking at this on a like a high definition you can definitely see these lines although faint you should be able to still see them look at the back part here or like i said right over here of course that's a gray arrow so it's a little tough to see see that okay you've got these 90 degree angles right here and when I darken it up, or at least enhance it more, you can see that a little bit better right here. See this? Okay. Now let's bounce back over to the other side again. Oh, and by the way, if you go back to this, look at the wheel marks from the rover. Right here. See this right here? Yeah, guys. This thing's been over here looking at all of these things. You can bet on it been looking at every single one of these so what's that tell you I'm gonna do the same thing right here I'm gonna go back and forth and just look at the lines any of the lines in here they're there just enhanced it give it more of a 3d and this is what you got guys tell me that don't look like some kind of weird vessel some kind of weird structure that's been overturned or or vessel overturned doesn't matter how you look at it but these objects are in fact there in fact you can still see these little you can still see those right there right here still see these objects yeah i know guys behave yourselves <laughs> i know exactly what you guys are gonna say um but anyway you can see the details much better right pretty cool now let's back up a little bit see the overall and like i said guys these guys are not just they're not just looking for rocks man come on now there's your overall these objects are all over this and here's another area too guys check this out all right here right in this whole area there's something there although i can't bring it out but there's something right in this area and there's many things almost look like this surrounding it. See, this almost looks like a circle around this thing. Right here, you can see the wall of it. I'm not sure what to make of that, but it's there. Give me a take on it, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, to me, I saw this thing at the top here, and I was just like, oh, wow. There's no way that's a mountain or a hill. There's no way. Now, I called it a vessel. Is it possible it's something else? All right, guys, let me know what you think. Is it some kind of vessel? Still think it's nothing more than a mountain? I believe it looks like a vessel of some kind of structure. That's just like they tried to transform this thing into some kind of a hill, right? And the other side, you got something else that looks intelligently made with these 90-degree corners. And once you've enhanced it, these objects pop up and they stand up and they have some height to them. Comment down below. Let me know. Give me your thoughts, guys. And don't forget to like and definitely share the video. Always appreciated. You guys know that. Anyway, you got some more Mars as well as some more Moon. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you on the flip side.